previously on Robots in Disguise. It is good to have you by my side once more, Ratchet. As team leader, I agree. Sir, talk to him. Things are moving too fast right now, Stronger. Help me, please. Like fix it, I was a caretaker and prison guard aboard the Alchemor. The remainder of the craft crashed just off the coast of Crown City. Decepticon Island. Steeljaw, you did it. Hand them over. It should be possible to create a stasis bomb. A handful of Autobots against hundreds of Decepticons. What could possibly go wrong? Collect the Minicons! No, we have to keep moving! Welcome, old friends, at last, to the first outpost of my new Decepticon empire. You should be honored, Bumblebee. You're the first guest on my Decepticon Island. An island you stole without style, panache, or class. We took you in. We trusted you. Imagine that. A Decepticon turning out to be less than trustworthy. Don't be so hurt. You put me in a position to possess two Decepticon hunters. You practically begged me to seize power. I merely accepted your gift. I have another gift for you. I'd keep it if I were you. Get ready to fight. Let them take us prisoner so that- I didn't ask for alternative plans. We don't have time for you to argue. So here's the new plan. Bring her down! Come on! Comb every corner of this ship. I want those Autobots! Autobot was kind enough to leave his Decepticon Hunter behind. So much for your coup. Optimus questioning my orders back there really cost us. We're down a teammate and I've lost one of our most powerful weapons. Our primary mission is planting the stasis bomb in the island's ventilation knob. That takes precedence over everything else. Windblade has likely been moved to a secure location by now. We have no choice but to proceed with the stasis bomb plan. <sighs> All right, but we can't keep traveling in a group this size. We're too easy to spot. Drift and Ratchet will try to locate and free Windblade. Strongarm, you, Sideswipe, and Grimlock see about freeing the captive Minicons. B, do you really want to break up the team within a team Drift and I have going? We have nothing going. We're still working out some kinks. I'll stick with strong arm and sideswipe for now. Toolbox will take me to the ventilation hub. Because of his prime Decepticon hunter, Optimus will accompany me to help protect the stasis bomb. After we're done, we'll rendezvous where we came ashore and get back to Crown City. Let's rev up and roll out. I should be helping, trying to free my fellow Minicons. Fix it, you know we're staying here as emergency backup. Speaking of which, we should get some disguises and cover stories ready, in case the bots come back and there are other humans here. <gasps> A star like me, reduced to guarding prisoners. I should be pounding Optimus Prime to scrap. Or at least that scrawny lieutenant of his. Hmm? 
I suggest you stand down, friend. Overload is the name, and I suggest you heed your own advice. <laughs> <laughs> I do love slapstick. But now I'm afraid it's time for you to leave the stage. Master! I'm surprised you're not freaked out since it was your new bestie the Decepticons took prisoner. I am worried about Windblade, but I'm trying not to lose my cool. If they captured you, on the other hand, I'd definitely be a basket case. I was hoping this was gonna be the punching room. It's even better. This is communications equipment. Remember how Fixit used a sonic frequency to disable Toolbox's inhibitor collar? If we can find that frequency again and broadcast, we can free all of Toolbox's pals. You. We can score to settle, Dinobot. I want my trophy! Do you really want to try this again, Hornhead? How many times have we beaten you? Let me give you folks some wisdom I picked up as a boss on Cybertron. It ain't who wins the most fights. Just who wins the last one. Shouldn't we be at the ventilation hub by now, Toolbox? I call for the shortest possible route. We have to skirt some areas with high concentrations of Decepticon activity, Lieutenant. Doesn't anyone follow orders on this team? Bumblebee, do not take your anger out on others. You are upset with me. You're right. And this isn't the best time for this conversation, but the situation is too critical not to have it. Tell me, why do you think you should be leading the team right now? Experience. I have always led. Here's my case. I know Steeljaw. I know what our teammates can and can't do, and I've been leading them for a while now without you looking over my shoulder. I learned from the best. You said you wanted to be equals on this team. Fine. I respect your voice above all others. But right now, I need you to have my back. Because if a single voice does not lead, it means disaster for all of us. Do you remember who said that? I did. Sirs! Perfect. Let's get this done. I thought you'd come here. You need some way to attack the entire island at once, am I right? Oh. Let's see, not explosives. You wouldn't want to destroy yourselves. Cryo gas? Whatever it is, step away. I read in our ship's library computers what these weapons can do when three individuals combine them. But I'm curious what happens when one being brings them together. Shall we find out? I could take down all of the primes together! What chance do you have?
chassis, Decepticon! Conversation? to the rendezvous. to do that since I met you. Can you modulate the transmitter to the frequency fix it used before? Sure. Maybe. Decide if you're that weak or I'm that powerful. <laughs> you're right. I'm that powerful. <laughs> Looks like this armor is more than a fashion statement. Interesting. I simply imagined a force beam and the weapon provided it. Mayday, if anyone can hear me on this Autobot-only frequency... You're done, Steeljaw! Do you hear me? Done! No. You are... No 
need to worry, Bumblebee. I have your back. The timer is running. Hopefully the others are at the rendezvous, but we need to make sure Steeljaw stays on the island. With his weapons and his armor, he may be immune to the cryo gas. Then we need to disarm him to end his threat once and for all. Even if we succumb to the cryo gas as well, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Ready your system probes! <laughs> I will still claim my throne! Not today, Steeljaw. Not when all I have to do is imagine the tools I need to defeat you. Heat Beam! Cold! Sir, it's been an honor. Forget that, fix it. We might still be able to make it. This isn't over. I will tear you to ribbons, Bumblebee! It. Reading multiple Decepticon signals, all of them in stasis. We cannot thank you enough, cousin. We wish you would come with us. My place is fear. Sneer. Here! We will finish repairs on the Alchemore and pilot the prisoners to Cybertron for reincarceration. The cloak will be maintained, so no humans will detect our departure. If you don't mind, I'd like to accompany you. It's been too long since I set foot on Cybertron. We'll hitch a ride as well. Thank you for your help, Ratchet. Windblade, I know this will be hard to hear. Yeah, Slick? I think I've kind of outgrown Cybertron. I'm not going back. Oh. I, uh... I guess I understand. I'll never forget you, Sideswipe. I know. You gonna hang around, Timmy? <sighs> For the last time. It will be an honor to continue to stand alongside you, Timmy. Will you stay? I believe I should return to Cybertron and investigate this new regime. But should you ever need me, I will come to your aid, whatever it takes. Thank you, Optimus. You are an excellent leader, Bumblebee. Never doubt yourself.
What's your next move, B? Earth has been such a flashpoint for Decepticon activity. I've been thinking it might be time to create a permanent Autobot base here. I hope this means the scrapyard will still be your home. I hope so too. Of course, none of you have to stay with me. Lieutenant, I think I speak for us all when I say there's no place we'd rather be. Maybe when we have some downtime, you can show us more of why you love this crazy planet so much. Really? Just try not to let us have too much downtime, okay? Somehow I don't think that will ever be a problem. Everyone ready? Then let's rev up and roll out! <laughs>